It isn't the people you fire who make your life miserable. It's the people you don't fire who make your life miserable. Whenever I say that, I get more amens than Billy Graham's sermon. Anyone who thinks he or she is indispensable should stick your finger in a bowl of water and notice the hole it leaves when you pull it out. Wall Street Journal did a substantive in-depth survey. They went out and asked 500 managers, like many of you people right here, what's the toughest thing you have to do? You all know the answer. Fire another human being. Terminate someone. Why? Because, you know, there's a myriad of reasons why. You're in the comfort zone, you're making money, you have a personal relationship with that person, easy to procrastinate. But now, as Paul Harvey would say, here is the rest of the story. 92% of those executives said, I should have done it a lot sooner. None of them ever said, gosh, I wish I had Paul or Mary back on the payroll. Find something you love to do and you'll never have to work a day in your life. Those are the kinds of persons that you want on your payroll and you work with them. And if you can't work it out, then boom, they might have to jump to another lily pad. One thing that no one can talk me out of, and this is the following. If you ever, and we have a lot of managers in here, a lot of direct reports, if you ever have to fire another person as long as you live, and he or she is shocked or surprised, guess what? You are a poor manager.